I'm at 5840 Northeast 17th. Here is the street. It's a quiet street. Here's the house, new exterior paint and stuff. I am concerned about the age of the roof because I'm seeing some separation between the shingles and a little bit of lifting. Here is the chimney, which looks good. Walking in, so they have put down, it looks like the luxury vinyl tile floor. Um, that's a double pane window, the one that overlooks the yard. These are actually double pane wood clad windows, which are very nice and expensive. High ceilings, no uh, light fixture in the ceiling uh, in this room, which is not unusual for a 40s or 50s home. And it's a good size living room. Here is the dining room area off of the kitchen. We've got coat closet. So in the kitchen, no refrigerator, but water line for it. Subway tile, some open shelves. Um, not a huge amount of space in here. Um, you know, be a little tight for a couple people, um, but it's nicely done. It's got quartz countertops, full extend drawers, soft clothes. Uh, the, let's see, what brand is this? Smart thing? I don't know if that's an Ikea one or, anyway, but a gas range. And then, a little bit of pantry space on the other side of where the refrigerator would go. So not a ton of storage here. Um, and then we'll have the door to go outside and the door to go to the basement. In fact, since we're here, I'll just bring you to the basement. So decent stairway going down, not too um, steep. So you basically walk down to a utility room. It's got a high efficient furnace, um, original window here where you can see definitely um, some leaking. And then it looks like they have done kind of a homemade parch coat over the, um, over the foundation wall. Here's where the washer and dryer go. So we're seeing newer PEX plumbing here um water heater is here it's a gas water heater let's see if i can find a light switch gas water heater it does need earthquake straps on it and then back behind here is a little bit of a crawl space area which they need to put a vapor barrier down they've got a lot of debris back in here um that's the back side of the fireplace uh, again, newer plumbing, it looks like. And then off of this area is a half bath. Um, and then we've got a, let's see how I can this on. Utility room. So it's kind of a mishmash of rooms down here. Um, so storage here. Again, I'm seeing um, newer plumbing there. We've got a newer 100 amp panel. Um, and then you'll see we've got another space on the other side of the stairs, which is another storage area. You can see it kind of through there. Again, an original window down here. And then off of the utility area, the floor continues for this bonus room, which has, it does have some sheetrock. It's basically wood paneling. Actually, it's wood paneling that's been painted white, wood paneling on the ceiling. Um, so the one light fixture, the original windows, um, 
a pretty sloped floor, but I mean, this could definitely be made into more. Um, this is on, so you'll see on to the left is the wood paneling. And then when we get over here, this is just concrete that's been painted. And some built-ins. The ductwork is not, you know, in soffits or anything. So it could use a little love. I'm also not sure if they put up this wood paneling on the ceiling to cover up maybe asbestos tile or if it's been this way for a while. But in some areas, it's kind of rough. So this basement could use, it's usable, but it could also definitely have some upgrades to um, make it more functional, functional and warm, that sort of thing. Actually, here is the plug for the dryer. These are the water lines for the washer, and I am thinking that that is the drain for the washer, but it needs to be adjusted. So it is a little bit concerning that, you know, there's not a washer and dryer in here to test these out, um, you know, just to figure out how well they do work. So going up the stairs again, decent wide stairway, nice tread height, not a real steep one. And then let me show you the main floor and we'll do the backyard. Really light. Um, so we've got a little coat closet. Again, the floors continue throughout. Here is the bathroom. It's got, I think, I think this is also the luxury vinyl tile and they've caulked it. So they've made it more like tile pieces. They've done subway surround, original cast iron tub, pedestal sink, original single pane window. Toilets back here with storage over it. Test the water pressure. So the water pressure is good, which is what I would expect with the newer PEX plumbing. Um, there is not a fan in here and the window is painted shut. So it definitely could use a fan or a new window. Here's bedroom number one. Also has original single pane windows that overlook kind of this carport that doesn't have a top and then the neighbors. Oh, let me see if... Painted shut. Painted shut. Closet here. Another closet next to the bathroom, linen closet. This they have as the primary bedroom. Again, original single pane windows. They've got a queen size bed in here. Um, it's pretty spacious because it's long. So also a window overlooking the yard. Terrible fence, chain link fence with that stuff. Uh, this window does open. It basically has a chain link fence with those slide pieces in between. So you really are looking at a lot of roofs around you. It could definitely handle some landscaping. It's got the old um, laundry, uh, you know, hang up laundry over there. Oh, let me show you the closet. And then final bedroom across from it. Um, again, original windows. Looks like next door they have an RV that you're kind of looking at. So I would really want to replace these windows. They just don't open. Um, the siding on the house and the garage is aluminum siding. This one does open. And then let me bring you back 
to the outside. Again, chain link fence on this side there. So next door, next door it looks like it is really a vacant lot in the front and then the house is set back with this huge RV. I don't know, for 600,000. I'm not totally buying into this house. Okay, so to get to the backyard, you go through that side door. So if you do have cars parked here, you're going to have to walk around them. A little dent in the siding and again, aluminum siding. Actually, it's, excuse me, it's vinyl. It looks like aluminum, but when I just touched it, it, it definitely feels like vinyl. Single car garage. And then here is the yard. So again, a lot of houses kind of looming right here. Um, it's definitely a blank canvas. And then here is the roof. The contractor is here and I asked him how old the roof was and he said, I think it's 10 years old. And I said, this roof is definitely more than 10 years old. My guess is this roof is probably 20 years old and at the most has a couple years left in it. So good location, decent layout, can handle some upgrades. Um, I don't know, for some reason it just does not wow me, but it's also, I don't know, 600,000 seems like a lot for this and knowing that it most likely would be bit up. It's more of a 550 house to me. 